really don't know why I do this. <clears throat> so if you've been here for a minute, you know that when I put on my makeup, very rarely do I ever put it on while I have my hair on. And so I was just hopping on here to do my makeup with you guys because it's been a hot minute since I did my makeup in stories and then I pop my hair on. Like, why? <laughs> I don't do my makeup with my hair on. So I'm gonna start with my skincare and what I do before I put on my Saint makeup, but I wanna get up close to you guys because I got a lot going on with my skin right now. I've got, you know, a lot of redness around my nose, some breakouts. It just is what it is. It's real life, ladies. But I do get asked what I use for skincare. And I have used Beauty Counter skincare products, many of them, for a number of years. And I always, in the morning, this Albright Sea Serum is what I use as my first step. It's an amazing sea serum. I have absolutely noticed a difference in my skin. I can't run out of this stuff. I did once, I ran out. And you know when you've tried and, or you know when you've used something for a long time and you're like, is it really working? Like, do I need to spend the money on it? Well, when I ran out, I definitely noticed the difference. You know, I think we all know the benefits of sea serum. This one in particular has turmeric in it and I think it's the game changer for this particular brand. And I notice it helps to bring that luminosity to my skin, which many of you guys comment about, Erin, how does your skin get that glow? This I think is a big factor because when I stopped, when I ran out, I was noticing that I was losing that in my skin. So this I don't ever go without. My moisturizer that I use both at in the nighttime and in the morning is the Saint Creme. I've used it now for about two years and I absolutely love it. Um, I have dry skin, but this works for all different types of skin types. I know my mom uses it. I've got a ton of clients that swear by this stuff. It's gold. I love it. Here's a trick for you guys. If you're looking for that luminosity in your skin and your skin's really dry and you're looking to bring some of that back, I take some of my facial oil. So this is Beauty Counters All Bright Brightening Facial Oil. When I first, before I use this, I thought, oh my God, is this gonna make my face break out? Um, because I do have sensitive skin, but it absolutely doesn't and it brings that beautiful glow and on days that I want sort of a really luminous finish to my makeup, then I'll put a little bit of this oil on my face before my makeup. Typically, this I use as my last step in my nighttime routine before I go to bed. And I love it. So today, I'm just going to keep it light. I'm going to keep it fast. And if you guys are new, this is my Saint 3D Cream Makeup. It's makeup I talk about all the time. I've been using it for two and a half years and all of my makeup is all within this one palette. It's all shades customized to my skin tone. And what's really cool about this is when you run out of a particular product, the tin and the palette holder The tin and the palette holder are magnetic. So you don't have to replace this whole palette. You just simply order the tin that you need and pop it back into your palette. I'm gonna use two of my favorite brushes. So when I color match you, I will make recommendations for brushes. It's almost always these two. This is the detail brush and the blush and bronzer brush. These are my two sort of must haves. And I love that all of our brushes are double-ended, so in essence, you're getting four brushes for two. So there really are no rules to this makeup. You do what works for you, but when I do color match you, I obviously send you how-to videos and instructions, and I'm here for you all along the way if you have any questions, but at the end of the day, ladies, it's just makeup, and I never enjoyed doing my makeup before I had Saint. It felt like a chore. I actually enjoy doing it now. Um, and it's fast and it's easy. And you may see myself or a bunch of other Saint artists 
putting it on in different ways because there's so many different ways to apply the makeup. Right now I'm going from brush into product onto my face. Sometimes you see us do the cheetah method, which is putting all these dots on our faces. For me on a day-to-day -day basis, I typically go from brush to face. But when I first when I first started, I did find it helpful starting with the cheetah method. But I sort of gravitated to right from brush to my face because honestly, it's faster. But as you learn, that cheetah method is really super helpful. So I just contoured my face. I deepened the shadow underneath my cheekbones. I deepened the shadow underneath my jawline to create a more defined jawline. And I put a bit of a shadow along the top of my forehead and the reason why I did that is I have a receding hairline. So that helps to bring your eye down and reduces that appearance of the receding hairline. I have a really big palette here and you don't need all of the things if you don't want them. I personally like having a few main highlights. So think of your main highlight to be the shade that's closest to your skin tone. And our accent highlight is similar to your concealer, okay? I like having a few main highlight shades in my palette because my skin tone changes regularly, especially if I've been out in the sun like I have been last week we were in Vegas, so I got a tan. So I've got some different highlight shades depending on my face and skin tone. So today I'm gonna to use Mango, the one in the middle, and I'm just simply dropping my brush, and that was really lightly. You're not dragging because if you do, you're gonna pick up too much product, okay? So you're simply taking the brush and dipping it into your tin. And if you have mature skin, like me, stippling the product on, meaning like this, versus dragging like that is going to give you a much prettier finish and less texture versus dragging. So all I did was I did the same on this side. <clears throat> I dropped my brush into mango and then I just stippled it around. And you'll notice I'm not going over where I put the contour because the whole idea is that you're doing this in one layer. And what actually ends up happening is you end up using less makeup than you would traditionally do with traditional makeup if you were to highlight your face or add you know accent highlight you're using it all in one layer which means less makeup which is really much better for those of us with mature skin because layers will cause texture and texture makes your skin look older the bulk of my discoloration is all in these sections right here so that's where I'm focusing on. And then I put very little, if any, in the areas where I don't need it. Some of you guys know I have a pretty good sunspot right there. All I did with that is I dipped my middle finger into mango and popped it on there and just pressed in. And then I took my brush just to stipple it out. And it's done a good job in camouflaging it. So I'm gonna use Athens today, which is this one right here as my concealer or as we call right our accent highlight and it's just going to bring a little bit of lightness down the middle of my face one of the things that we one of the mistakes that we tend to make especially as a mature woman is if we're looking to call you know disguise some discoloration under our eyes our tendency is to go too light and when we go too light, it actually does a worse job in concealing some of those dark circles. And you're often better to go a little bit darker than you think you need to go under your eyes to help camouflage some of that under eye discoloration. So I just use a small end of the detail brush to go around my eyes and then a little bit of accent highlight on my eyelids just to sort of smooth out any discoloration. And then I'm going back to the small end of my blush and my bronzer brush just to blend out that lighter shade, which is Athens for me, my accent highlight, right in between my brows 
I'll bring it down my nose, anything that's left over on my brush, and you'll notice I put a little bit around my nose just to address some of the redness that I had kind of going on. I like leaving the contour under my cheek to blend out until, you know, closer to the end like this. So when you're blending that out, you want to blend up and take the edge of that detail brush and just feather it up. I'll blend it out more after I put on a little bit of blush. But as you can see, most of us have a natural shadow underneath our cheekbones. All you're doing is deepening that shadow, which helps our cheekbones to pop, pop forward and look more prominent. So if you've known me for a while, you know I like the bronzed look. So this is Bella Bronzer. This is Rose Gold Illuminator. I'm going to take the fluffy end of the blush and bronzer brush and I'm just going to dip in between those two really lightly. And then I'm gonna do small circles around my cheekbones, the top of my forehead. Think of anywhere where the sun would naturally kiss your skin. You're just giving yourself a sun kiss glow without any of the sun damage. Here's a really super easy cheat. If you don't feel like doing eyeshadow, but you do want to do a little bit something, dip your finger <clears throat> into Bella Bronzer and just tap it along your eyelid and it gives a super natural shadow and it's really quick. Then I'm going to use my lip and cheek color. So I've got a ton of them here. Some of these are all my favorites. This is Tango though. This is one of our new shades of the season. So basically Saint comes out with new shades of the season every quarter and they're available just for that quarter. So if you love peachy pink shades, this, like Tango is going to be one that you're gonna to wanna to check out. So I just plopped it on my cheeks and I'm blending out and think about it as sort of marrying your contour and your blush together. And you know what, ladies? I was never a blush girl until I started wearing Saint. And maybe it's because I've aged and I need a little bit of color to my cheeks. But I am here for the blush. And then I'm just going into my suede lip liner to line my lips. And then I'm going to use that same tango that I used on my cheeks on my lips. So that's it. I'm just keeping it super easy and simple. But my last step is always, I always use the Saint setting spray. I take a damp perfector sponge, spritz it onto your beauty blender. This is Saint's perfector sponge. Um, and then bounce it all over your face. So it's kind of doing a couple of things, ladies. It's helping to set the makeup because cream makeup does not set on its own. And then number two, it's helping to blend out if I have put a little bit too much on my skin, it will help to pick up the excess. It's not taking it off, it's just picking up any excess.